Hey everyone, it's Delta Shiny Zeta here, bringing you another episode of Nexamon Extinction. But before I officially begin the episode, uh, I actually have to talk about something incredibly important and something that has been incredibly frustrating to me in the last 24 hours or so. Despite this not being actual gameplay, the first 10 minutes or so, I highly recommend that you please watch this. I have to make a very powerful point here about something that's just complete bullshit when developers do this. Uh, not that it happens often, but I'll talk about this right now. So. It has to do with what happened in the end of the last episode. So if you did not catch the last couple minutes of the last episode, and what actually happened, just to give you a quick recap if you didn't watch it, basically I was fighting Dracon, who said level 27, as you can see, 166 HP, 280 stamina, and I actually defeated the boss. You know, I lost, I think, two mons or whatever, something like that. Actually, no, I didn't. What am I talking about? Uh, but it was a little challenging, not too challenging, you know. I won, and somehow after winning, the game crashed. Like, what the fuck was that? Whatever, that's not what I'm griping about in this in this thing here. Uh, so the game crashed, I was like, oh damn. So it actually took me back to the menu of the Switch. I relaunched Nexamon, and then this thing came up, like a new update, which is patch one that the developers were saying for the last couple days that had already been out on Steam, as well as the PlayStation 4, but the Switch one took a little bit longer because of uh, getting approval or whatever uh, that makes sense right that's out of vivo's control vivo interactive with developers so whatever that's fine so i downloaded it because i was like oh yeah this patch has a couple updates it'll make the game uh, easier some balancing and some scaling issues are going to be fixed that extra hit that ai's get tamers when they defeat one of yours is going to be removed overall the game's going to be easier right well guess what i downloaded it i'm just going to fast forward this a little bit here Successful, as you can see. Okay, then the updating software. Then I can launch it again. There, I launched it. And let me just fast forward. I went back into this, saw the whole cutscene again, as you just saw. I kind of just smashed through it. Went back into here. And I was surprised to see this. Level question mark. Okay. HP 309, stamina 377. As you can see, I didn't do any kind of grinding or anything. So you can't say, oh, but it's scaled for your grinding. No, I didn't. It's the exact same thing from the beginning and the end. So it went from it went from 166, 280, 309, 377. That is a significant buff, as you can see. So me seeing that they did this, um, I guess I can open the next part. Could took a couple screenshots. This right here is a screenshot, and I'm using screenshots by the way, because I have a couple messages from Facebook here, right here, and I, I didn't want to actually show the actual Facebook for you know a non uh, being anonymous. Um, but anyway, this is part of um, one of a link that they put on their Facebook page. In case you don't know, uh, one of the easiest ways to communicate to the developers is through their official Facebook page. They have 103,000 people like this page, so it's very popular, very credible in what they do. A lot of updates. This is where you can actually find the type matchup chart as well and all that. I blocked out a couple things here, which is why I'm doing screenshots and not the actual page. Anyway. Uh, if you click on this here, if you're on the actual web page, this will actually take you over to this here. It's a site that ha it has more things on there um, about the updates, but one of the things is the dynamic difficulty aspect. They talked about how th uh, the game's gonna basically going to be easier. We've adjusted our dynamic difficulty system to be a bit more relaxed and not grow so quickly, but keep in mind that our priority is still to achieve a challenging experience. We don't want an easy game, and after playtesting, we felt that this update strikes a good balance. However, if you were playing the earlier versions and were forced to grind a lot, then please understand that once this update is applied, there is a chance that you will suddenly be over level compared to the immediate environment. Okay, that's fair, right? Makes sense. Well, guess what? That didn't happen. I didn't feel any of that when I redid the game, so I was pissed. And I went on their Facebook page and they actually left a comment to this specific post. You may actually be able to find it if you um, actually want to do some digging. So I put, the update actually made some battles harder. I was fighting Dracon in the Drake Isles. I had 166 HP, but then my game crashed. I relaunched the game about 30 minutes later, but noticed that there was an update. It was more like 15. Whoops, I don't know why I put 30, but whatever. It was an update to the game, so I downloaded I went to battle Dracon and had 309 HP and much more devastating attacks, which two-shotted all my Nexamon. Why? Wasn't the purpose of this patch to make the balancing easier on players? Guess what? They didn't reply. I thought they were just not replying right now at that time, but then I actually ended up seeing that they were replying to other newer comments, but not mine. So I was like, that's a little shady. They actually deliberately ignored this comment, knowing that it was that there was a lot of truth behind it, but they never told this to people. They completely outright lied to players, which was ridiculous. Later, though, 
couple hours later, I saw another comment saying, not trying to gripe, oh, this is not me, this is another person that left a comment on the same post. Not trying to gripe too much, love the game so far, but what happened? I faced a tyrant, won't say for spoiler reasons, but I'm far into the game. Before the Switch update came out, I was able to beat him with some difficulty, but now when this new update came out, just suddenly is able to now two-shot my party and his HP almost doubled. What happened to that? I would love to know why all of a sudden he just got a major boost when the update was supposed to address the difficulty. Same exact issue, just with a different boss, as you can see. This is my reply. I put, same here, I left a comment on here about three hours ago, facing, I don't need to read all this. Um, it's basically just a summary of what I put for my original comment. Uh, and I put over here, seems like they do some features uh, to make the game easier, such as reducing Wild Nexamon levels and Tamer's levels with less scaling, as well as getting rid of that free hit that Tamer's have on you, okay? But increase the difficulty of boss battles, meaning you still have to grind just as much to get past these key boss battles, so overall, the difficulty wasn't made easier at all. Just reallocate it to a different portion of the game. And then he replied, okay, so it's not just me and that's noticed this problem. I mean, if it's just the case and the EXP share, which they're talking about for patch 2, uh, I keep hearing about coming should have already arrived to help with the grinding, which I agree with. I don't know why they made the game harder in some aspects and didn't release that. As well as possibly up the amount of coins you have, whatever, that's debatable. That's not too relevant to this. But, um, okay, so guess what happened after that? Nexamon, the official, you know, the owners of the page, replied, actually, the damage and level was reduced. What changed is that in the past, the bosses would use random skills from a large pool. So depending on your luck, you could have an easier or harder time than other players. In the update, we gave bosses a predefined list of skills, making sure they still represent a challenge even after, quote, nerfing them. In addition to this, the tweaks were meant to help players level up quicker and far more resources like coins, which will allow them to be better prepared. If this becomes a trend, we will adjust accordingly. Okay. There's a lot of bullshit in this. <laughs> There is, and it's not just because of what I said in the last episode, but I actually have legit visual proof that that is not the case. They are downright lying to us, and I have to call them out on this because this is ridiculous. Seriously, watch this. So what they're claiming is that the damage and level was reduced. First of all, the level, there's no way that we can tell because you changed the level, Vivo, from 27 to question mark. So we don't have any proof of yes or no for that. If it was in fact reduced in fact i would argue it wasn't the fact that this fucking hp actually went up there and doubled and the stamina also went up however it says the damage you're literally saying the damage okay i don't know why i highlighted it like that but you know what i mean the damage do you want to see something here let me go back to the beginning of the first battle and do a quick recap of what moves um this guy's doing so this is the beginning of the battle as you can see against dracon Use Fire Stigma, 15 damage, not effective to Loomfer. Okay, this is battle one. Pummel did 31 damage, that's regular effective to Loomfer. Okay, and if we keep going. Explosion, Explosion did 12 damage to Loomfer. Keep this in mind, this is actually very key to understand this. 12 damage to Loomfer, not effective. Fire Stigma did 9 to Vanok, because I used water purposely to counter it. Fire Stigma did 10 to Vaynok, okay, and again, these are not effective. Fire Stigma again, 9 to Vaynok. Pummel, Pummel's a little stronger because it's actually regular effective. That did 23 to Vaynok, and then you died. Or sorry, or no, you're about to die. Explosion did 14 to Vaynok, now I died, and now you died, died to burn, and that's it. And that was the battle, I won. Okay, did you see that? Now let's fast forward to the buff. I put Vaynok first this time, okay? Fire Cross, okay, that's actually a new move right there. Keep in mind that in the first battle, uh, the boss used Pummel, Explosion, and Fire Stigma. Here's another area where it's bullshit. They're saying that in the update, we gave bosses a predefined list of skills. That is not true. Because before the update, Dracon was using the same three moves, which means that it was not a quote, random, how you're saying random scales from a large pool. That is bullshit. I'm sorry, but it's not. It's a complete lie. It was the same exact predefined skill moves. And here you use Fire Cross. So it's like, wait, what the heck? Okay, it's a new move. So they did do some changes to moves, but it is not from a random pool of moves. And it's not predefined how it got changed to it. It was already predefined, just different moves. Fire Cross did 19, critical, not effective. That can't really be measured because it was a crit. So whatever, I'll ignore it. Then, 
27 from Suncor. That's when you were like, wait, what the hell? Where does Suncor come from, right? That's not effective. Okay. Then I got hit by... I guess I was talking there for a bit. Let's see. Okay. Explosion did 23 to, Ve uh, to Veina. Keep in mind that Explosion was doing about 12. Not effective to Loomfer before. And then to Vayna, I can never use it on Vaynok in the first battle, but similar moves like Fire Stigma were doing 9 to 10 damage. Now it's 23 away. What's going on, right? Okay. Then I use Fortis. I'm not going to show this because I, I didn't use this in the first battle, so that I can't measure out and compare. But here's Loomfer. Loomfer, 26. Um, oh, wait. Go back. Suncor. Suncor did 26 to Loomfer, not effective. Now, to be fair, he didn't use Suncor in the first battle, so we can't completely measure that, right? Explosion did 22 to Lump Loomfer, the second one. And here's the thing that really pissed me off. Just watch this. I actually skipped one of the moves, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. Oh no, it was that one. Okay, do you see this? In the first battle, Dracon attacked with Explosion to Loomfer, non-crit. It did 12 damage. In the second battle, when Dracon attacked Loomfer, non-crit, with Explosion, 22 damage. 22. This is visual evidence and proof that that is a complete lie what they're saying. Actually, the damage and level was reduced. Sorry, I should have deleted this, but actually the damage and level, that is bullshit. I'm sorry, but it's not. The fact that on the same, I can, I, ha I can measure it. First battle, second battle, 12 versus 22, and don't say that, oh, that's just RNG. No, and this particular case when you're this far into the game moves don't have that much of an rng that one time it does 12 one time it does 22 assuming it was the same move on the same nexamon non-crit there's no way and even if it was the most you can argue is that it's doing the same damage just a horrible rng on my end but that means it was re it's saying it was reduced it was not reduced it was at the very least kept the same but i feel it was buffed their damage was buffed that is ridiculous that is a complete lie you want to know what else they did after that, so I replied with this here, a little passive aggressive because I was pissed off. I said maybe it was accidental. Maybe you, if you just made some kind of, you know, you made a little mistake while doing some updates. That's fine, you know, that's okay. Now here's what I put. What I did notice was that the level was changed from set to question mark, meaning now we don't necessarily know the level next on Tyrant to Greater Drake. The HP is definitely not reduced as we have visual evidence without considering HP is always shown on screen. I should have also mentioned with stamina being buffed because that was buffed. And it can be very easily seen that their damage output has significantly increased. Something strange is going on here, and it is possible I have been changed and or tweaked by accident, but it's definitely not intentionally, quote, reduced. Wow. And here's what they said. They then replied to the other guy and said, Hi, you cannot see the level. It shows question mark, but we do have access to the numbers, and this overall stats were indeed lowered. The only thing that increased was HP, but all their stats were reduced, and this was to make the battles. I should have expanded that, but whatever. Then they replied to me, said, please refer to my response above, where they mentioned this whole thing of levels and HP. But the fact that I literally just said this made them say that. I have a strong suspicion that they did it like, oh shit, he actually noticed. He's going to call us out on that. We have to not lie anymore. We have to come out and come forward with this. And that's what they did. If I wouldn't have said that, there's really a huge doubt. Like, I don't think they would have mentioned any of this. And this, I just wanted to add that this adjustment is the same one PC almost had since launch. That's not relevant, whatever. I have visual evidence that they completely lied. And here's the, here's the thing that I'm trying to say with this. Look, I'm, I'm not here about, about this whole like, oh, the game is too hard, whatever, you know? Yeah, sometimes I complain, sometimes for fun, sometimes being realistic. The point is, if a game is too hard, you grind, right? You fucking grind, whatever. If they made this game super hard, if they came straight out and were forward about this saying, we're going to buff up the game, I would respect them more. I lost a huge amount of respect for them, I'm just saying right now, because here's the thing, I have done over 5,000 videos on my channel, about 180 different Let's Plays of so many different developers, and this is literally the first time in about 6-7 to seven years of doing my YouTube channel where I encountered a developer that literally outlined lie to their fan base, those who actually specifically supported the game by buying it, and are actual supporters of the game, and they just lied. They literally said this, that they were going to make it easier, the game, and they clearly did not. They made some parts easier and some parts harder, and to the point where you still have to grind when you get to these certain key p components of the game, and it's complete bullshit. I'm sorry, but I lost a lot of respect for VO Interactive now. I know what you're thinking. You're one YouTuber, you know, that's not like super famous, oh, who cares, right? It's it's fine, you know, it's, it's okay. I, I don't know how many of you are going to see this, but if you do see this and you want to leave them... A comment about it, refer them to this video, 
uh, please, please do so if you can. Comment to them on Facebook, um, on the website, if you are also having a similar issue with this, because this is ridiculous, and this kind of shit needs to be called out, because it's not ethical. When you do this to people who are literally supporting you and buying your game, and you're doing this kind of thing, and now we're at lying. Lying to the fan base, okay? That's all I had to say about that. I hope that the message got across. With that being said, I'm not going to stop this Let's Play. Because for one, I already bought the game, so I might as well show it off to all of you. And it's really about all of you. I know all of you want to see this Let's Play and want to keep seeing it going. I'm not going to stop it because in the end, y'all are the priority over me, you know, being super pissed off at a developer. If I saw any of this bullshit before I bought the game, I would have probably not bought the game. To be honest, I would not support a developer that does that. But the fact that you can't really get a refund with this means that I'm just going to go ahead and keep playing the game. Alright, but as you can see, I'm still pissed off and it's actually forced me to grind a lot. You'll actually see in the beginning of the video how much I actually grind it. So share this with your friends who are also fans of Nexamon so that you can do this because this kind of crap needs to be called out. I'm sorry, but when somebody deliberately outright lies and tells you the incorrect information and they're saying that they have the numbers and shit, when clearly you have visual evidence that that's not the case, they need to be called out on that because that's ridiculous, alright? Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to start the video now. Alright, so we are back here with the gameplay, as you can see, fighting off against Dracon. And I'm not going to really spend a lot of time complaining about what I already said in the first 15 plus minutes of this video, but I will say one more thing. As you can see, the HP will got buffed even more to 354. It used to be 309 and 377 for stamina, now it's 354 and 382. So the stamina only went up by 5, but the HP went up by almost 50, which means that they still further scaled it. Even if you grind heavily, which I did, they still scaled it even more. So it just adds even more thing to that level of the, the point that I had, like they actually still do scale it, making it even harder. That's ridiculous. Anyway, uh, this this freaking horrible scaling system in this game and this really poor ethical decisions by Vivo has led me to actually grind like crazy because I was not able to actually beat this thing when I went to like 26 still. I grinded up to 26. Uh, fill recording, so I was like, God damn, I have to redo it. I went up to 32 just to ensure to be safe here, and I'm sorry if you think that's over grinding, but when, you, when it comes to this bullshit game and it's ridiculous, stupid developmental, which I'm pissed off the decisions, uh, I'm sorry, but I had to do this, okay? I hope you understand, but I'm really still angry at the developers. Anyway, um, let's go, to, go ahead and play now. So I got some new moves. One of the big ones was Furious Torrent. Should be able to handle this now. 40 and as you can see his attacks are still gonna do a lot of damage so it's not gonna be like super easy but luckily I can do a ton of damage here with these attacks as you can see so I'm probably gonna lose my Vaynoch or I might actually have to switch out yeah see I'm already down to 6 HP so you got you I got you at about halfway I'm gonna go ahead and bring out 4 tank who is a big tank as literally the name says um, so one of the crazy moves is Rock Knight Burst that you learn. Deals great mineral damage, 110 power, 95 accuracy. That's amazing. Let's try it out. 42. Wow, look at that. Now I'm really managing this well, huh? Anyway, this video, I'm going to get it up to close to 40 minutes. I'm going to make it a little bit longer to show you a little bit more content just because of that whole 15 minute thing in the beginning, you know? Yeah, any fast move? This one's fast. There we go. Okay, so I did it. Um, it took a whole lot of grinding. Uh, that's ridiculous what happened, but again, please watch those first 15 minutes. It is a very important point that I make. I know it's kind of a lot, 15 minutes of not actual gameplay here, but please watch it. It's very important for you to understand uh, the kind of ethical business or non-ethical business that developers sometimes do when you have to call them out on that shit. So please, please bother them. Please bother the developers. All right. Might be promoted again. And there we go. 500 coins, win Nexa Trap, and Ghost Nexa Trap. Alright. If you'll excuse me, I'll be taking this misbehaving dragon to Ameli. Take care now, kids. Okay. I don't know you were that strong, Shiny. Now that we've helped her out, Lydia owes us a favor. Okay. That's true. Well then, and yeah, by the way, I can only assume that these grinding sessions off-screen are going to have to continuously happen throughout the Let's Play. I'm assuming that 32 is going to be pretty underpowered soon enough. So I'm going to have to do some of that, you know? Man, that kind of sucks. That You really, literally have to grind so much. Man. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and heal up first because I'm actually a little bit... Well, do I really have to? Maybe I don't. I'll just put in someone... 
Alice in the front. Here, I'll put you. Hello, Coco. Alright, let's go up north. There's Lydia. Hello. Something's wrong, Shiny. Only an absurdly powerful tyrant can push my dragons into that kind of insanity. It must be nearby. Yet the village is fine. Everything is fine, see? It bothers me. There is only one place that I haven't checked. The abandoned building. It must be it. What lies in that place is a terrible secret. If you dare to come with me, I have but one condition, Shiny. I will need a reliable ally. I need someone I can trust if things go south, and they absolutely will. Okay. Shrinky. Oh, for the bottom, right? Got it. Okay. If you attain this power, I will acknowledge you as an equal, a comrade, if you will. Only then will I reveal the secrets within this building. Sound good? Alright, so I do know where it is. I, I believe it was to the east of the building, right? Okay, so is this gonna be wind base? Or should I put loom for in the front? I'm assuming it's going to be wind, right? It would only make sense. Alright, so I actually will go ahead and heal up because we're about to get another tough boss battle. Just watch if I'm under level now for this next boss. And I have to grind up to like level 40 or something. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. Alright, let's do this. So it was actually over here. Oh my god, everyone's getting in the way, man. Alright, let's go to the right side. So right over here to the bottom, I believe it was to the south. I remember seeing that there. Remember in the last episode? I'm pretty sure you do. Okay, well we have to kind of run around here. We gotta get a little creative here with our pathway, you know? Oh wait, that's the wrong way. I think it's over here. Was it this way? Actually, it might not be. Hold on. Fuck, I don't even remember. No, I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, it was. Okay. Thank God. Here it is. It looks like it is wind-based. It's supposed to be the shrine. Yes. There. The door is now unlocked. Let's check it out. Do your thing. I'll wait outside. That thing gives me the chills. Okay. So we're about to fight um, the wind elemental one, huh? Hmm. Yeah, but we're not gonna have enough... Enough yet, right? We need more elements. Who's that? Oh my god. Hmm. Now this is interesting. It's one of those spirits. This must be her tomb. You will call me Nadine. I was the ancient tyrant of the Tempest, Ventra. The second child of King Omnicron himself. Ventra is actually the first difficult battle of the game of that Nexamon game. In case you're wondering, the first really difficult one. Omnicron, he was a tyrant too? The primordial king of the tyrants, indeed, and defeated only by the betrayal of one of his own children. But you are not here for history lesson, are you? I think it was the grass elemental one that was not on his side. You've come to take my power. Well, what are you waiting for? Come and take it. What, really? Just like that? No fighting? Well, this is refresh. If you can defeat me. Oh my god. Alright. In the previous game, countless players complained about the difficulty of my boss. <laughs> That's true, I, I just told you all. I, I was one of those complainers. I was. This will be my vengeance. Yeah, like I said, it was actually, like, you could breeze through the game up until that point, and then you realize, like, oh my god, like, that thing is actually crazy, you know? Anyway, um, so I got some new moves here. Uh, explosion, 100 power, 100 accuracy. So less, a uh, little bit weaker than this, um, but five more accuracy, um, and no chance to burn. I'm gonna be using incinerate, but I think that makes the most sense. But luckily I'm using the right type, as you can see. These things have so much HP, they seriously buffed up these bosses, this is crazy. Luckily I grinded enough, and I'm using tap advantage too. Oh my god. Can Lumfer take another hit? I hope so. Oh my god, please take another hit. Okay, you can. I'm gonna swap you out now. 
Let's bring out, okay, well, you're weak, you're weak, you're neutral. I'm gonna bring out Lovey Dovey. Let's see what Lovey Dovey can do. 33? Oh my god. Alright, let's do. Got Pummel, Cleanse. I'm gonna do Cybomb. This should be good enough. There we go, got you. Alright, so now I'm in a very good position here in terms of. So I did grind enough finally. 26 is probably not enough, but 32 is. Well, well, well. Looks like my power will be in good hands after all. Come forth, Shiny. Take the remainder of my blessing. Bend the winds to your will. Wow. The Tyrant Egg absorbed all of Nadine's power, and it still didn't hatch? Good gracious, what a peculiar Tyrant Egg you have there. It has fed on two elements already, and it still hungers for more? Shiny, whatever will awaken from this egg will surely make history. For better or worse. You can now harness the power of wind. Use this power when you see green squares like the one in this room. Leave my tomb now, I have nothing else to give you. But fret not, we will surely meet again, Shiny. I am eager to see this legendary tyrant of yours. That will be a most entertaining moment for both of us. Okay. So, I was correct, it does actually let you, like, float or whatever. What the f- Oh, it's just tutorial-like? Like, there's nothing, right? No, okay. It's just for explaining it. Alright. This does mean, though, that we have to, um... What the heck? Oh, there you are. What's up? All good now? Oh my god, you found a golden exotrap? Sweet. I don't know where you found that, but... Okay. Alright, so yeah, this stuff... Uh, we can actually go around all over the Drake Isles now and use this move. Because we've seen plenty of this. Of these cliffs, like, that you can kind of float through. So I should probably do that, actually. Before I progress the game, and... It's actually kind of a good thing to be doing that right now, because I'm already at 12 minutes. Um, I'm going to extend this video a little bit, as I was saying before. Uh, so, that's good, right? Instead of 30, up, I'm going to go up to the high 30s. I'm going to give it like maybe 10 more minutes than usual. Mirn, Mirn Companion. Mirn? Okay. Alright, so you have to face the correct direction. Phantom Shard. Yeah, it just goes back. There's no point in going... Well, let me just check over here. Anything? No. Okay. I can go back because I don't want to fight that guy. I just want to get items right now. Kind of a cool ability though. I, I do like that. Alright, so that's... Oh shit. Okay. Go like that. Alright, so these sections are done. Um, and this one over here... I don't believe there's actually anything over here that we can use to like float and stuff. Up here, I don't think there's anything either. Let me just check really quick, but I doubt it. Oh my god, now there's... What the heck? Look at that right there. Um, okay, there's nothing. Just, a uh, tame... Oh god. Level 25. DM. DM. Okay. Well... I believe that's it, because that other place loops around in itself, and there's nothing down there. So I'm done with that area. Now I kind of just have to check here. Okay, oh, I can... Oh, I can use this. Okay, so it's not actually surfing, it's... Hmm. What the fuck? Okay, I don't know what that's for, but alright. There's a cave there, but I don't think that required any... I don't think so. Uh, let's see. So back in town. I guess I'll start by... Okay, what was to the left? Was there anything to the left over there? I don't really remember, to be honest. Okay. Let me just check, because up north is story progression, but I'm not going to do it right now in this episode, it's fine. I'm just kind of quickly seeing if there is in fact something here that I can go ahead and utilize now. Uh, no actually, there's not. Okay. So that's all done. It means I have the rest of the, the rest of the Drake Owls to explore by using this new ability here, so I definitely want to go ahead and do that. Alright, so let's go down 
And let's check all these locations one at a time. So if I see anything, I'm gonna take it to fly over, you know? The cliff or the gap or whatever. Like this one! What is the point of all this though? There's all these things, but I can't even find any secret items, man. Hmm. Well, that's it for that one there. Um, yeah, I'll start by going down. Sure, why not? This place is still freaking weird and creepy as hell. I don't know what the point of this is. It might be story-based a little bit later, and I'm not sure. But there's nothing there. So the only way I can take right now is to the west. So I will do that. Tempest Shard. Again, there's two additional ways here. I'm gonna go down. Alright, so it's actually a shortcut back over there, as you can see. Which, I mean, I guess it's not a bad idea, right? Well, I would have to fight the guy, so it's not worth it. But it's just a shortcut back. <clears throat> okay. We're gonna take this, and let's see. Nothing there. There's a trader up there to the top. Actually, let me let me explore up top first because, or I mean, that was a trader. I should say not anymore. But all right, this place. I don't think there's anything here either. No, there's not. Okay, let me just. Nope. Oh. All right, so that place is done. So if I go down south, at least to those bridges, I remember. Yeah. So to the right. Let me just quickly show you. At least back to that pathway, which I'm not going to go ahead and do. Now there's two additional ways. I'll take the left one first. Alright, there's a quest up there. And I don't believe there's anything else here. I know there's a... yeah, there's a battle right there. I'm not going to do that, obviously. Alright, so this place is done. Now the last place to go is down south. Aha, look at that. Stone shard, okay. Another stone shard. Discount voucher, sweet. That makes things a little bit cheaper, right? That's good to have. And then another pathway to the right, I see. There's an item over there. Contains a Nexa trap. Okay. And this section is now done. Let's keep going. Alright, there's a battle right there. Uh, nothing over here. Two random people there. I don't see any more of those green squares. Let's just keep going right along. And then here there's a, there's a medic here. Right, I guess this is another good place to like be grinding, you know. You just want to, because if there's always a healer, wherever there's a healer, it's actually a good place to do that, you know. And that's actually it, okay. Yep, that is totally it. Alright, so that means I'm going to have to go all the way back, but um, it's actually a perfect time to end the episode here. I'm up to 19 minutes of actual gameplay, plus the other 15-ish plus. Um, but hopefully, um, hopefully, y'all enjoyed this. Um, you know, I did progress the game a little bit, so that's good. Uh, I know what you're thinking, you know, am I going to go back to um, different parts of the world now that I have this ability? Not yet. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that because I did the Drake Isles, but that's fine. But I know that there's other places out there, probably, but I'm not going to do it quite yet. I'm going to progress the story some more. That way I don't have to be coming back to the Drake Isles again. You know, I just want to finish up everything here in the Drake Isles first before I start doing that. So we'll see how I approach that, but I'm definitely not going to go back yet. So um, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.